You can use SmartArt in any Office product to create interesting diagrams. I like to use PowerPoint. To begin, change the layout of your slide to blank so that you can have more room to work. Then go to the Insert tab and select SmartArt. Once you're in the SmartArt options, scroll down to Pyramid and select the pyramid that you're going to use. You begin with only three parts to your pyramid, but here on the left pane, you can use the Enter key to add more layers of your pyramid. Once you're there, you can create titles for each level of your pyramid. Use the down arrow so that you don't continue adding additional pieces. Once you have each of your labels, you may want to add more details. Choose one of the levels, and then here at the top menu for Create Graphic, choose Add Bullet. You can now add more information, and when you hit Enter, you will continue to add more bullets to continue explanations. You can choose on any level, and again choose Add Bullet to continue adding that information to your graphic. If at any point while you're working on adding your information, you notice that these smart art tools have disappeared, for example here I no longer have Add Bullet. I simply need to click back on the Design menu or the Format menu in Smart Art to get back the tools that I need. When you have added all your text, it's time to worry about pictures. To add pictures, you can save them first from the internet, then you can either fill the whole level of the pyramid with a picture or add a picture to the side of your information. To add a picture to the whole level, select the level you want to work with, right click, and go to the menu Format Shape. Once you're there, you can choose to fill with a picture. You can then choose the picture that you want to use. In this case, I'm going to choose this laptop and insert it. You'll notice that after I click close, my level is now that picture. If I want to work with the picture, I can go back to format shape and back to fill, and then I can change where the picture is by adjusting the offsets, choosing different parts of it. I can make it more transparent so that I can see text to it, or I can affect different pieces of the text. If I just want to add clip art to somewhere in the level, I'm going to start by clicking outside of the picture and then inserting the image that I want to use. So I'm going to insert picture. In this case, I'm going to scroll again and select that laptop. I'm going to click insert. Now you'll notice it's on top of the graphic, of the smart art graphic. So I can shrink it way down and then drag it so it's on top of that section of my pyramid. When I'm ready to work back on SmartArt, again, I need to go back to my formatting or design tools. Notice that here in design, I can change the colors of my pyramid and do lots of different things to affect the final look. Don't mess around a lot with that until you get everything else ready to go. You have all of your information and all of your pictures set. When you're done, make sure you save. And if you want to save the final product as a picture, Go to the Save As menu, and then here at the bottom where it says Save As Type, you can choose to save it as a JPEG image. That will save this as a picture of what you're looking at instead of as a PowerPoint slide. And that's how you create a SmartArt Pyramid.